Greetings everyone, it's Anya again. And today I wanna to talk to you about the kinds of seeds that you would grow where you buy them in a seed packet. So if you can and you order some seeds, really easy to grow seeds that are fun are corn and peas. So I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can grow some corn and peas and get to watch them while they sprout and they grow. It's really interesting because corn is one group of plants and peas is a very different group of plants. And so you'll see as they grow, they look very different and they do very different things, but they both grow very well and they're fun to have in your garden. So I'd like to read you a few pages from this book, Need to Eat Seeds. This is a Honey Pot Lane garden book, and I'm going to read to you about corn and peas, because those are the seeds we're gonna grow now. Seeds we eat. Plants make seeds to grow. We eat the seeds of some plants. Beans, corn, and peas are all seeds that we eat. Beans, corn, peas. Here is a corn plant. We eat the seeds of the corn. I eat corn like this. Peas. Here's a pea plant. We eat the seeds of the pea plant. I like eating peas like this. So you're going to need some kind of a clear container. It can be a glass, it could be a plastic cup. I happen to use these because we had gotten them already. Um, these are nice because it's a nice width and I'll show you why. So the next thing you're gonna need is a paper towel and you're going to fit the paper towel inside of the plastic container like this. So the example I'm going to show you are for peas and I ordered these and one of the reasons I got them was that they're easy to grow and they're early maturing and if you get them from a package this is what they look like. So this is them right out of the bag and I soaked mine. I soaked mine in water for a while so they swell up and that helps break that outer coat and they can sprout easier um, but you can do it either way. So these have been soaking for a few days, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the paper towel really nice and wet. And you don't want to have a lot of standing water in the bottom because then you're going to get mold and mildew. So what you're going to want to do is, especially if you have a mister, it works great, you want to be able to just constantly get the paper towel wet. And then I'm going to put the seeds against the paper towel in between the outer edge of the paper towel and the plastic container. See, and it's kind of tucked in there. Kind of push the paper towel against it. Okay, and I'm gonna do this all the way around. Okay, so go ahead and put four or five in so that you have them all in a row and they're all kind of tucked in and then it helps to have a lid uh, if you can cover this because that will keep the moisture in it'll keep the seeds nice and moist and what will happen in the next couple of days is they'll start to sprout so these seeds have been in here for about three days and you can see already they've started to sprout when they get to this stage you can see the shoot and you can see the green shoot and you can see the white root. And what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to plant them in the ground now because if they stay here, uh, especially in wet paper towels, it'll start to mold really quickly and mold will kill your seedling. But it's fun to get to see them start to sprout and um, you could also just continue to sprout them and you can eat pea, pea sprouts, There's, those are good. You could have them in your salad if you wanted or you can put them in the ground, which is what I'm going to do now. Just as pea seeds will grow into pea plants, your corn seeds will grow into corn plants. And you can do the same thing with the paper towel with some corn seeds. I would like to share with you just the first page of this book. 
It all starts with a seed, how food grows. By Emily Bone, illustrated by Sally Elford. It all starts with a seed. Amazing but true, most of our food begins as little seeds. Nestled in the soil with the help of warmth, water, and sunshine, the little seeds grow into big plants. One, it's late spring and a brown, shiny bean seed sits in the warm, moist soil. Slowly and silently, a root stretches down and a shoot reaches up. Root, shoot. A few weeks later, the shoot pushes its head out of the soil and straightens up. Pointed flat leaves open out from the shoot. Their job is to turn sunlight into food so the plant can grow big and healthy. This is the stem. Underground, the roots have an important job to do too. They suck up water and useful minerals which the plant needs to grow. So after reading a couple pages of this book, you might be wondering, if we eat the seeds of a corn plant and we eat the seeds of a pea plant, well, if you eat the seeds and plants grow from seeds, how do we get more corn and more peas? The reason we can is because every single seed that you plant grows up into a big plant and it'll have several ears of corn or it'll have lots of pods of peas and at the end of the season the farmers just keep a few of those ears of corn out of all the ones they're growing and a few of those pods of peas and let them dry out and that's how you get the peas and the corn that we plant the next year and that's what I did here. So those seeds that you saw, those were planted and the pea seeds will grow into a plant like this. It's a pea plant. And the corn seeds will grow into this plant. So it's a corn. And you can see they're very different. Plants.